FC. It is great to see you all. And thank you very much for everyone that subscribed while I wasn't here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Life keeps going. But thank you very much for being here. So uh, let's just get into this video because this is going to be five months worth of monthly favorites. I have been keeping track, I just never ended up finding the time to actually film this. So I'm filming it now, so let's get to it. So for each month, I will have the month name right here down at the bottom to not get confused. I normally don't do this for my videos, but since there's so many months, I might as well. So for January, I only have a few things and most of them are in the same category. So in December uh, was my birthday and it was Christmas and my boyfriend bought me a new laptop. I didn't need it necessarily, but he thought I did for gaming and video editing and etc. And it is an uh, MSI gaming series laptop. And I don't use most of the functions, but it does very well in a lot of my Steam games, which I wouldn't have been able to play on my old laptop. And also, <laughs> I have these really cute Five Nights at Freddy's stickers from Sanshi on the bottom. And I will leave the link to these stickers down below so you can buy them yourself. They're just so adorable. So even though I got the laptop in December, I didn't move any of my files over until January. It took a while because I have a lot. Um, so that's why it was a January favorite. And also in the same category, you can probably hear it. I got a new phone. Um, I have had the track phone plan for a really, actually as long as I've had a cell phone, which was in high school when I was a teenager. I've always had a track phone, it's a prepaid phone. But this is my very first smartphone and this is the um, Samsung Valet. And it's actually a hand-me-down from a friend of mine who he upgraded his phone and he gave me his phone, which this is an upgrade for me. So, um, first of all, of course, I'll show you all the cute things. So um, on my back of my phone, I have an adorable little Heather from Silent Hill. And if I can remember the name of the artist I bought this sticker from, I bought this sticker at SakuraCon last year. Um, I will leave the link down below, of course, and I have a little cupcake on here. And Kenny keeps saying it looks like she's scared and pooped a cupcake. And I'm like, no, it's just a cupcake but whatever. And then on the little dust plug charms, I have uh, Rami from Castle Crashers with a little bell because I love the sound. And then I have a bobtail cat from Tasty Peace Studios, which I will leave the links down below as well. And um, on my phone, my, oh, you can see the camera, but on my phone um, is chapeau for the lock screen, and then the background is rule of rose. So yeah, I just, I love this thing. I always thought I didn't want to get a smartphone because I thought I would be addicted to it and I would never be on my computer, but I actually <laughs> find myself um, being on both at the same time. Also, the bonus of having a smartphone is that I can finally have an Instagram account. So, of course, I'll leave my link down below so you guys can follow me if you want. Um, my Instagram is ragprincesssews, but it's more of a personal account. I will post a lot of personal stuff on it and craft stuff. And if you don't care about, you know, one or the other, you don't need to follow me. I'm not after followers. I just am sharing my life and if you want to, if you're interested, then go ahead. That's fine either way. My YouTube favorite for January is Style Like You and it is a channel produced by I think a mother and a daughter. There might be more to the team, I'm not sure. But uh, they have this crazy concept where basically um, they have people come on and they literally take off 
their clothes and as they do they talk about what makes them as the person so it's basically about what makes the person besides just the visual looks and even how does the person portray their personality through the clothing they wear and it's really interesting and it made me feel uh, better about myself actually um, there are some there's a lot of beautiful people on there and they're from different sizes and different races and different genders and it, everyone's different and everyone's beautiful in their own way and they're basically celebrating that and I think that's what's really great about this channel. So if you love hearing stories about other people's lives and stuff like that, I highly suggest you check out this channel. It's really cool. My last favorite, told you guys January was short, is an event favorite. So I got to see one of my favorite bands, Calibri's. I've talked about them so many times before. Um, their new CD, Less for Sacrilege, came out and they were going on tour for it and they came to Seattle and we got to go see them and it was awesome. And here is one of the items I got at their tour. It is a Saints candle and it has the Calibri's Brothers on it. And then on the back it has the Less for Sacrilege uh, lyrics on it. I've only burnt it once but um, I think this is one of the coolest items, like merch items to get at a concert. It's super unique and um, I just love them. They're, they're great guys, they're awesome. February favorites are also really short. Um, I was pretty sure I was gonna combine the two of these months doing a monthly favorite, but February is the month of uh, Valentine's Day. Because of Valentine's Day, they had Valentine's Day candy out. So this was one of my favorites, and yes, I do have a wrapper <laughs> saved from February. This is how committed I am to the monthly favorites video. But um, this is the strawberry and dark chocolate flavored Three Musketeers, and they were the cute little fun size ones. And they were the best Three Musketeers I've ever had ever. They were super good. My favorite candy for Valentine's Day this year was this. Um, I think I bought two bags of them, so this was my second bag, the last bag. So, um, yeah, they were really good. I'm sorry you can't get them now. I'm really, really sorry, but maybe keep an eye out for next year, or maybe if you really want to try it, you can buy them off eBay. I don't know. I was having a discussion with a old YouTuber. She doesn't have a YouTube anymore. But, um, shout out to you, Annika. Anyways, um, she was talking about it, and, um, we were having some sort of discussion, and she had mentioned this TV show called The Fall, and she mentioned that it was, like, a murder mystery type show, so I decided to watch it, and oh my god, did I love The Fall so much, so much. So there's two seasons of it, but they're working on coming out with a third season. It is a BBC show or a British show um, because the main actor in it also plays uh, Mr. Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey, which I didn't really find him attractive before, but once I watched The Fall, I get the attraction, especially with the beard. Yeah, I, I understand now. It has the actress that plays Scully from X-Files, who's also in Hannibal in it, and it's just really awesome. You need, you need to watch it. It's really good. My YouTube favorite for February is also a very body positive person, and it is a plus size fashion vlogger named Megan Murphy, and um, she is really sweet, really pretty, and it's really hard to find fashionable clothes for someone plus size such as myself. I'm actually a little bit bigger than her, so um, I like being able to find out resources for really cool clothes that I can't really find in stores or whatever. Most plus size shopping is online and most of the time it's hit and miss so it's nice to have someone that has reviews for items that you can see how it worked out for their body type if their body type is pretty similar to your own. So um, I just really like her videos. My last favorite for February is also an event favorite. The Seattle International District 
which usually does Dragon Fest, which I will have the vlog links down below. Um, they decided to do an extra food walk this year and in February it was Year of the Sheep so they had a New Year's food walk and it was just like the food walk from Dragon Fest and so Kenny and I went and it was really fun. The food was really good and it was a nice day out and it was just a good way to spend February. So March was the beginning of the spring and summer season. Starbucks had came out with some new Frappuccinos and they are the beginning of my monthly favorites. So I have two right here. The first one is the S'mores Frapp in the glass bottle. Um, before my favorite Frapp of this variety was the caramel one because it tastes least like coffee and um, I thought the s'mores one was really good it was along the lines of that but it doesn't taste like s'mores um, they came out with an actual s'mores frap that you can actually get at Starbucks I haven't tried it yet but I've heard pretty much the same thing about that as I've heard about these. But the star, the number one who's super delicious one, is the mocha coconut. And it actually tastes like coconut. It's like coffee, like almond joy. It is, or mounds, I guess. <laughs> but it is super, super good. Um, if you can find any of these anywhere, they are great. I highly suggest them. I don't know if they're full on seasonal like the peppermint one I had from a couple months ago. But uh, if they're staying, of course this is going to be the only one I grab. Also, it was Starbucks birthday, so for a limited time, they had birthday cake frappuccinos that they only sold in stores, and I actually found out about it the last day. I had no idea. I was on Instagram, and I think I saw Graveyard Girl post about it or something, and so um, on a whim, we went to Safeway, and luckily mine had a tiny Starbucks inside, and I was able to get one and here is a picture from my Instagram of me enjoying it. It was delicious, delicious. And of course because of Easter my favorite was Peeps and this year they came out with Mystery Peeps. They were a mystery flavor and they came out in bunny and chick form and surprisingly they both taste different to me. Um, I first tried the chick one and it kind of tasted like fruit punch. It was kind of like a combination of two of their flavors. Uh, I think it was the lemonade and the bubble gum. Um, those separate little peeps. I think in the factory they got mixed up and it tasted like fruit punch. These bunnies, however, they taste different. They actually taste like dragon fruit to me. This time of year, the dragon fruit flavor is really popular. I even had it in slushy form, which you'll see on my Instagram. So I, I even had an actual dragon fruit for the first time. And so I'm used to the flavor and that's what these taste like to me. Um, <laughs> and I don't know why I still have a full unopened package. Um, I guess I'm saving, I was saving them for this video, but <laughs> I never got around to opening them. And they just were on the top of my fridge underneath packages of chips. But I guess I have them to eat later. Um, I get, I don't, I don't think you can buy them anymore. Um, it's, it's funny, I still have it. Anyways, um, it, I, like before, I said before, you can probably find them on eBay maybe. <laughs> Who knows, I might sell these. Next favorite is an event for March. And that was Comic-Con. I finally got to go to Comic-Con. This is my first year going. They're always sold out of badges and I always spent all my money at PAX. And we pretty much forewent SakuraCon to go to Comic-Con this year. So um, I do have a haul from Comic-Con and I will post the link right here. Um, I was planning on posting it a couple days after but Life happened, and I'm really sorry about the videos, you guys, but I will post them 
no matter what. But yeah, it was really, really fun going to Comic-Con, and I had a good time. And I hope you guys enjoy watching all the wonderful things I bought from there. Which, this then leads me to my craft favorite for March. Um, cosplay, like many of my other craft favorites for months that I go to um, conventions and stuff. I uh, ended up cosplaying as the Winter Soldier Captain America. Um, I really, really enjoy that version of his uniform. I really like the navy with the silver on it. Um, more than the classical blue with the red and white stripe on it. Um, I just really like it and I like all the fabric layers. And so I ended up cosplaying as Captain America. Um, I had a whole plan in my head of, which I did post on Twitter and I think a couple other social media sites, of being Stucky, which is another one of my favorites for the month, which is like um, the pairing of Steve and Bucky. And I think in the movie Winter Soldier, they're like perfect together. I love them. Um, OTP. But <laughs> so I wanted to be the embodiment of Stucky because I do have blonde hair and brown hair, but I didn't end up finishing Bucky's arm in time, so I was just Steve, <laughs> which isn't that bad. Captain America is awesome. My next favorite also kind of has to do with Comic-Con, sort of, um, is Steven Universe. For a week in March, they had a new episode of Steven Universe every day, like kind of how like they're doing Adventure Time this past week and we got to find more out about the crystal gems and the whole universe of Steven Universe and I just really enjoy that show and I, after the week I actually think I like Steven Universe more than Adventure Time now. I, I just, I really enjoy the characters. They're really sweet and cute and if you haven't been watching it, you should definitely go watch it. I had also bought all of the Steven Universe comics at Comic-Con and I even got this really awesome bag from We Love Fine and it's actually hanging on the bathroom door right here on the back of it so um, I just it's a really good show and you need to check it out and for more serious shows um, less kitty more adult um, I really got into the show Salem I found it on Netflix decided to give it a go and I really really enjoyed it and actually <laughs> Since this was so long ago, they're actually playing a new season currently right now on the television on, I think, WFC or something like that. It is a really good show about witches, but not like the pagan type of witches, more of the demonic type of witches, which I'm normally against, but the way they did it, I really like the way they did it. It's more of like a horror movie type of version of it. So it's okay for me. There is a bit of gore in it, which is one of the reasons why I like it. It is pretty creepy and stuff. So um, if you enjoy like that kind of genre, I suggest you check it out. And because of this show, Salem, I have refound my love for this song, which is my last monthly favorite. And it is There Will Be Witches by Creature Feature. Creature Feature is one of my favorite bands. I've seen them multiple times. They're kind of on a hiatus right now. I don't know what they're doing, but over the past couple months, the past year, they have released, I think, three or four um singles that are not in a CD yet. They're just singles. I will leave the link for their iTunes store in the description. Um, I pretty much got tired of waiting for the CD, so I just went out and bought the singles. And I, at first, I really didn't like this song because, um, like I said before, um, it was more like Burning Witches and Witches Are Bad, which I feel the opposite of, but in the terms of Salem, if the witches are demons and they're actual bad sources, then I feel better about it. So I feel like this song is like the anthem of the Salem TV show and just the two, they go perfect together. When I think of one, I think of the other. So it's a really good song and you should definitely give it a listen. It's 
after a while it will be an earworm. As soon as you hear it, you will be saying it for the rest of the day. Since I didn't mention a YouTuber favorite for March, I will start off with my April favorites with Jess Face 90 um, I happened to come across her when I was looking up the new Essie collection because I was curious and she pretty much just does nail polish reviews and she has the newest collections as soon as they come out and she even had a very helpful video about different top coats. I had actually just gotten the Sashvit top coat and was having problems with it so I watched her top coat comparison review video and it actually gave a lot of helpful hints and tips about using that product. So um, I pretty much just went through and watched a lot of the nail polish videos to see color swatches of colors I thought I might like but I ended up not liking and then found new nail polishes that I added to my wish list. So if you really like nail polishes then I suggest you subscribe to her. My next favorite is a video game favorite and I had heard about this game from a bunch of other Let's Players and I have been really kind of interested in it but I hadn't actually watched them play it because I wanted to experience the game for myself and it is Life is Strange and it is a um, point and click type of storyline kind of like all the Telltale games like The Walking Dead and the new Game of Thrones type of game where every decision you make has a consequence and I just love the storyline. It's a little bit of a thriller at the same time as it's a teen drama and I love the characters and the game design is gorgeous. Everything is so beautiful. It is about a girl who goes to a specialty high school and it's for photography and at the same time she ends up discovering that she has a rewind power where she can go back through time and change events and of course like in all science fiction if you change the past the future gets dramatically changed as well so she has to deal with those consequences and you as a player have to deal with those consequences as well and that's why it is a really great game. Next favorite is a song and a CD, mostly the song, but kind of the CD. Um, I recently was trying to go through and find new music to add to my iTunes library and on Facebook I noticed that I had still liked Panic at the Disco, but really I hadn't listened to them in so long. Their first CD is probably their best CD, I still stand by that. But the CD that came after that I didn't like it all. I kind of just felt like it was a Beatles ripoff. So I kind of forgot about them for a really long time and hadn't really kept up with what they were doing. So I decided to go back and look into their last couple CD. And this one is Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die. And it is their newest CD. I think they're planning on coming out with another one soon but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and what sparked me to buy this CD was the Girls Girls Boys song. I went through their YouTube and found a bunch of their old music videos and when I saw that video I was like hot under the collar, oh my goodness. But that isn't what sold me. I really, really love that song. It just makes me want to get up and dance every time I hear it. I really love it. And it, since this band is originally from Las Vegas, they're really Las vegas -y theme. Usually when I pop in this CD, I will listen to the first song, Mrs. Gospel. The second song, Mrs. Jackson, which is mm, so good. Makes me want to dance as well. And then uh, Vegas Lights is becoming one of my new favorites. I really enjoy that song as well. I skipped the next song and Nicotine is pretty good, but I usually skip that one too just to get right to Girls Girls Boys. And it's just really good. Oh, this? Yeah, this is my next monthly favorite. 
So, um, Mountain Dew has a special flavor that they have at Taco Bell called Baja Blast, and that was made years and years ago. And you can only get it at Taco Bell. But last summer, they came out in those little plastic bottles, and you could only get them for a limited time. But this summer, this summer, they came out in gigantic cans and little cans and also Taco Bell has a second flavor that they came out with I think last year called Sangria and this summer they actually came out with the Sangria in the cans as well not this big one yet hopefully next summer but they did come out with the tiny cans that you can get in a uh, 12 pack which we did have but can I drink them all <laughs> But this one is pretty much my favorite and the Sangria one is his favorite, but we both love both of them. They are actually still out now, so you can go get them if you haven't tried them. And if you can't find them, you can always go to Taco Bell and get them all year round if you would like to try it. My next favorite for April, I actually don't have it yet. Yet. And I will do a opening video when I do receive it, but... April 1st, every year, I try to avoid Facebook because it is April Fool's Day and everyone puts out a joke and sometimes it's not very funny and I'm just not into that. But I did sneak on Facebook for a little while and I'm really happy I did because I ended up seeing Tasty Peach Studios April Fool's joke where they made this adorable disapproval meow -chi. and you guys know how I am with their meow -chis. I love this meow -chi so much. I was actually more upset that this meow -chi wasn't a real thing at all. That was the thing that made me upset the most on April Fool's Day. But since it was so popular with everyone, they decided to have an open reservation for the Meow Chi. And of course, I reserved it, and I should be getting him, I think, next month, sometime in July. So keep an eye out for that, but this is definitely one of my favorite things in April. Something else that came out in April was my favorite movie, and that of course would be The Avengers Age of Ultron, and of course I wore my cosplay to the movie theater. Um, I ended up going, I think, the Thursday before. Instead of a midnight showing, it was like a 10 o'clock showing, and of course the theater was packed, but it was really, really awesome, and I got this cool, like, popcorn bucket, and drink holder with the Avengers on it and it was a really good movie and if you haven't seen it yet you really should and you should read all the comics and all that stuff and be an Avengers fan. And like the others I'm gonna start out this month with a food favorite and like I said earlier one of the summer flavors that's always super popular is s'mores. And Oreo came out with s'mores flavored Oreos. I would have to say that these are my favorite, not seasonal, but my favorite chocolate themed Oreos ever. My favorite Oreos ever will always be the orange cream ones, the creamsicle ones, which they don't sell anymore. But my favorite chocolate, like these are better than the regular Oreos or the uh-oh golden flip-flop Oreos or whatever. These are amazing. So. The actual, the actual cookie itself is graham cracker flavored. Then they have a marshmallow flavored filling and a chocolate flavored filling. And what's great about these compared to the other seasonal ones is that they're not split half and half. This one is so every time you take a bite you get the marshmallow and chocolate every time. And that's, you know, if you don't eat the whole Oreo at once. Also in the junk food kind of category, um, my local mall is going to shambles and the Forever 21 is actually had a closing sale. I was able to get a few things. I was also able to snag these Choco Gummy Candies 
for a lot cheaper, 50% off. So instead of $6 each, they were only $3 each, which I think was really great. I've never tried these before because usually when I go to my Asian market and I see these little tube candies, I just grab the Apollos because they are my favorite. But um, I finally got to try these. I got them in peach at I got them in peach and muscat, which is like a white grape flavor, and of course the peach ones are almost empty because peach is my favorite um, summer flavor, but yeah, they're really good. So if you don't have a local Asian market, I suggest maybe you check out your Forever 21 and you can probably find these. My last food favorite is a drink, and I actually found these on a whim at Rite Aid. I was looking for something to drink, and like I said, peach is my favorite summer flavor, so I found this peach apple cider, and uh, I was like, peach and apple, that sounds amazing, and guess what? It was amazing. So um, every time I go to Rite Aid, I always grab one, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere other than Rite Aid. If you guys have tried these before, let me know if you can find them in any other supermarkets or anything. This is the Sonoma Sparkler, and they're kind of taste like Martinelli's, but they have the awesome fruit flavor, and the bottle is just really pretty. Um, <laughs> it was funny, I was drinking one, and my mom thought I was drinking olive oil, because that's what it kind of looks like. But they also have one. That doesn't look like olive oil and if you don't like peach they also have a raspberry variety that is also very very delicious so my next favorite is kind of like a game favorite and an art favorite at the same time so um the same creators that made a contrast from a previous favorites video they're called compulsion games they're currently making a video game right now called we happy few and they were having an art contest and i just had to join because i love their games and i really like the way the we happy few looks right now it is like a 60s dystopian kind of thing where they have uh, happy pills and you always have to be on your happy pills or the bobbies will come and get you, which the bobbies are police. It's like a British 60s. And I just really like the concept of the game. So I decided to pull out my trusty old tablet and try to work on some digital art for the first time in a while. And uh, this is what I ended up making. And sadly, I didn't win the art contest, but I still really enjoy the piece I made. And I hope they really like it. I think they really like it. <laughs> And um, I'm just really excited for the game. Hopefully I'll be able to see it at PAX firsthand. And right now they're having a Kickstarter for the game. So you can actually contribute money and help make the game as well, which I think is great. Of course, I'm going to contribute to the Kickstarter as well. And in that, you can also pre-purchase the game, which will be great. So I hope you guys can check them out. My very last favorites for May and for this entire video are three YouTubers and they all have something in common and they are bento and f cute food creations. So um, I'm not gonna pronounce or try to say their names because I will pronounce them incorrectly because they are mostly Japanese, but here they all are and I just I really enjoy watching them make cute food uh, my boyfriend has actually got a new job to where he can bring um, more food and we actually know the manager that works there and he really enjoys bento as well so I figure it's a great time to start like sharing the cute food food world with everyone at his work and I needed inspiration so I found these YouTube channels and I really liked the way they made their food and I just I think they're great and I literally sat and watched bento videos for about a week and I'm not ashamed of it so you should definitely go and subscribe to all three of these people and that is it for my monthly favorites video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this is a really long video but five months worth you would expect it to be pretty long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will see you all next month. Bye!